Stan, look, I really want you to know how much I appreciate you coming by for us to talk today. Now it's been a hell of a week. Uh, how's that scotch? Wonderful. Anything else I can get you? Spliff, acid, coke. I think I have some ketamine. Really, it's fine, David. I've had enough methamphetamine this week to kill a small buffalo. Really? I haven't slept for days. I don't even know where the fuck I am. I think I killed my wife last night. But enough about me. I, I came here to talk to you, Dave. Yes, the incident. A lot of cages got rattled when that plane's cargo door flew open. It's an engineering flaw. McDonnell Douglas takes full responsibility, but let's keep this in perspective, okay? Sure, a few passengers may have gotten a little fright when the cabin floor collapsed, but zero fatalities. Look, Dave, I'd love to give you a pass right now, but the Transport Safety Board is right up my ass with all these recommendations. I can imagine. I'm going to have to issue a directive to have all those faulty locks fixed. Oh, Stan, you're killing me. Come on, you know how bad that's going to make the company look. What would you have me do? Hear me out. Isn't there some way that you and I, just you and me, Stan, right here and now, can come to some kind of an agreement? An agreement? Old-fashioned gentleman's agreement. Verbal, binding, honorable, Stan. So you want me to what? Just take your word for it that you're going to get those planes fixed? Don't take my word for it, Stan. Take hers as well. My God, who's she? Stan, this is destiny. Not that. Her. Miko? Miko. Naughty, naughty, yeah, so naughty, naughty, I want to dance. I'm so pretty, pretty, yeah, so cutie, cutie, I want to dance. I want to dance. weren't legally enforceable, and the majority of the DC-10s went unmodified. Everything turned out okay, though, until March 3rd, 1974, when a DC-10 operating Turkish Airlines Flight 981 suffered an almost identical cargo door blowout and went to ground outside the town of Ermenoville, France. Like a fucking dart. All 346 people were killed. McDonnell Douglas, however, survived as a company and were only absorbed into Boeing more than 20 years later in 1997. If you don't subscribe, you're just a tainted c uh, It's my first day. What do they usually do here? Think he wants you to subscribe. Awful way of going about it, though. Do your job, motherfucker! Oh, shit, shit! He's got a gun! Subscribe! Subscribe! Subscribe!